Hello guys, welcome back to the Unwanted Mind Podcast. Uh, this is episode 29. I'm very excited, you know, we're one episode away from reaching episode 30. You know, a lot of people say we wouldn't have made it that far. <laughs> At least that's what I imagine, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, that's a lot of podcast episodes, you know what I mean? Th- like, they would have hit 30, that's crazy. But, you know, let's focus on that when, you know, next week, when episode 29, baby, this is episode 29, you know, um, I know I say this every podcast, but oh boy, oh boy, there is major news on this podcast this week. Um, so much has gone up and been going on, you know, um. I'm sure from the title, you know, you know exactly what I mean. And, you know, he's based on what has been trending as of lately. Um, and I will be getting into that. But, yeah, I'm just very excited. You know, I'm very um, ecstatic to be able to record a podcast. You know, I look forward to this every, you know, every week. And um, I'm just happy to bring you guys the news, you know, in case you miss anything. Because, obviously... I'll be talking about the major news on which you guys probably know about, right? But then there's those smaller topics that you guys may have missed, you know, it may have get gotten lost, you know, in the mix with all the major news that's been going on. So it's I feel it's my responsibility to um you know deliver that to you guys. So just so you you know, you're not living under a rock, so you just you're so you're just informed, you know. So you're not lost in what's going on in case someone brings it up, right? Um, so obviously by the title, um, you know, the main um, stories for this podcast. So we, for the first topic, we have um, Queen Elizabeth II passes away. Rest in peace, man. That's crazy. I mean, that's been major news, right? Because she's been around for so long, so... That has been major news, a lot of controversy, you know, a lot of people mourning, um, also a lot of people celebrating, especially the Irish people, because <laughs> you guys don't know, you know, they were at war, um, you know, so, um, of course, they're happy about it. <laughs> so are a lot of, so are a lot of, a lot of other people. Um, <laughs> and I'll be getting to that later on. Um, next topic, we have PNP, uh, PNB Rock passing away as well. Um, believe on Monday. That's that's uh, a tragedy. You know what I mean? Like God bless his soul. Rest in peace, man. Like th- th- there's a video out there leaking of his body, and I have not looked at it. Looked at that yet. Um, I don't. Re- I don't re- really recommend looking at it if you're not too good with like you know like nf like what's what's it called like nfsw like just like very explicit con- like video and I, like there's really not much of a reason to look at it right like you know he's passed away like what, what's the reason to really see his body laying down you know dead it's just it, it's it's not good and it, especially for your for your like mental it's like sanity it's it's not it's not healthy to look at stuff like that um even though it is the reality right um but god bless his soul you know um i will be talking about you know him later in the podcast um we also have um harry styles and chris pine drama um there's been a lot of controversy whether if harry styles um i'm sure you guys know um the context but there's been a lot of controversy if Harry Styles actually spat on Chris Pine's lap. Um, yeah, um, there's a video that has been released to the public of that incident. And I'll be giving my take on it, whether um, if I believe he spat on him or not, or if it was all, you know, if it was really a beef, you know, I'll be mentioning that. Um, so those are the main topics that we have for today. Um, but for the the smaller topics, um, not really smaller topics. They're also huge topics. They just didn't make the title. 
Uh, we have um, D23, which is like, um, you know, Disney's, you know, convention where they make like their major announcements of films, video games, um, you know, Marvel stuff like Marvel films and all that. Um, this has been there has been so many announcements and um, I want to make sure to get into that. Uh, we also had the Emmys on two on Monday night. We also had the Emmys. Um, I, I'm going to be mentioning the nominations and the winners and my takes on who I thought should have won and who shouldn't. Well, like not not who shouldn't. That's that's I don't know. That's kind of crossing the line. Or like, oh, who shouldn't have won? What, what am I, Kanye? <laughs> you know what I mean? What am I, Kanye, going up to fucking Taylor? Oh, you're good, but Beyonce should have won. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, we also have Nav, um, the artist, the rapper Nav. He dropped his album. Um, what else we got here? We have Netflix saying that they may stop releasing full seasons at once. Um, yeah, that sparked a lot of controversy, you know? Um, cause I don't know if people are too big fans of that, but I, I guess that plan does attract more viewers, but I'll, I'll get into that later on. Um, we also have Ray J saying that there is a second sex tape with him and Kim and exposes text with Kanye West. Um, yeah, that's pretty major. <laughs> that's pretty big. Um, what else we got? We have Steve Jobs. Um, Steve Jobs' daughter saying that the iPhone 14 is the same as the iPhone 13, which also sparked a lot of controversy for reasons, you know, very much clear. You know, she's the daughter of Steve Jobs, and she's saying it's the same shit. You know, basically just agreeing with the public, saying like, oh, it's the same phone, just with like one extra thing or some shit. Um, we also have Kanye settling his feud with Adidas. Um... We have Drake getting uh, the Nike logo braided on his head. Um, I believe he was for like a, like a Nike event. Um, we also have Canelo saying he won't fight a Mexican fighter. Um, I'll be getting to that later on. We also have Metro Booming saying he's putting his finishing touches on his new album. And we have Call of Duty. Um... Will reportedly the new Call of Duty game will reportedly cover the Iraq War, um, which is pretty major as well. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the podcast and just let's get it in. All right, so for the first topic that we have for today, we, we, we're we're gonna start off small, you know, we're we're gonna warm it up, you know, we're we're gonna build to the bigger topics. So um. Yeah, so Call of Duty will reportedly cover the Iraq War. Um, that is pretty big because the Iraq War, you know, consisted of a of of a lot of you know major events, right? Like so much happened during that time, a lot to cover, right? So seeing that being covered by Call of Duty or um, by Activision, you know, more specifically. That's going to be great. You know, I, I really want to see where they go with it. Because if I'm being quite frank, you know what I mean? Um, no pun intended. You know. <laughs> um, Call of Duty kind of fell off a little bit. And I, and I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me. They're going to be like, bro, you just, you know, you used to play Fortnite all day. That's true. You know, you're right about that. <laughs> but, um... I don't know. I just it feels like Call of Duty has not been the same since like Black Ops Three. You know what I mean? Like at least in my opinion. You know, I feel like from there it just kind of went downhill. And I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with me, and that's fine. You know, you you have the right to have your opinion, right? But I feel, but it seems like I'm bashing on Call of Duty, on which really I'm not, because I think with this new game that they have planning to release. That covers the Iraq war. I feel like this is going to put them back on the map. And I really hope it does. Um, oh shit. I just forgot Warzone. Call of Duty Warzone exists. Well, Me personally. I'm not a big fan of Warzone. I downloaded it. I tried playing it. It's just. Uh, I don't know. It's not for me. Um, uh, Call of Duty Cold War is pretty fun. Um, but it's it, it's just like. But it's like. It's just that. It's like. It's just fun. Right. Like. 
I don't know. Black Ops 3 for me was like iconic. Cold War is like, it's a good game. Or it's a great game, right? Let's not lie. It's a great game. But it's not like iconic. Like it doesn't have that feeling to it. You know, I, I don't really know how to describe it. It's just, it's a feeling. You know, it's just a feeling. Um, you know, because I, I have a lot of memories playing Black Ops 3. You know, I would like log on with my friends or my cousins and I would just like game and I would like the lobbies were just so much better, you know, just kids raging and shit. And Cold War, you don't really get much of that. I don't know. Me personally, like the lobbies I join, I just don't get that. So I don't know. It doesn't feel, you know, the same. And especially with like, you know, um, Black Ops 3, they had like the Nuketown maps and stuff. And I really enjoy those maps. Um, but yeah, so, you know, covering the Iraq war, that's going to be dope. Um, I wonder if, um, Bin Laden's going to be, um, you know, president of the game. I don't know if that's like copyrighted or whatever. I don't think it is, right? I, I, no, it's not for sure. It's not because, you know, they used, they've used Ronald Reagan and John F. Kennedy in, in their previous games. Um, so I don't think, you know, it'll be copyrighted. I, I do think they will. He will be present in the game. And I think that's going to be dope, you know, because um, I don't know how accurate they're going to be, you know. But if it is pretty accurate, you know, I want to see I, I want to be the character that, you know, breaks in the house and kills Bin Laden. That'd be sick. You know, I just I, I'm imagining it right, right now, like jumping out of the helicopter and just, you know, finding his, you know, base. That's going to be pretty dope. So, um, yeah, so. I, like, w- 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 tell me what you guys think about that, right? Call of Duty covering um, the Iraq War. Like, let me know in the comments. Um, um, you know, I feel like that's gonna be dope, and I feel like that's gonna put them back on the map. Um, I don't know what kind of Call of Duty game this will be. I think it's be like Call of Duty Iraq War. Maybe, maybe that's that. That'll be the title for it. I don't know. I, I, I and I also don't know if. They're planning to make this or they're already they've already made it or they're in the making of it and they're just kind of like teasing it um i don't know but i feel like it's been a while since call of duty dropped the new call of duty game so it could be releasing maybe sometime earlier next year or maybe late this year i don't know um but we'll see you know i'm a big fan of call of duty personally so you know, it, it, it'll be cool to see what they, what else they have in store, you know, because they've been around for so long, bro, since I was a kid. So, you know, let's see how, um, you know, how, you know, what, what time goes on. Let's see if they're still, if they still manage to bring that heat, you know, bring something new to the table. Um, another smaller topic, uh, we have Drake. Um, getting the Nike lo- logo braided on his head. Um, that's pretty dope. You know, Drake. Drake has been really. Um, you know, he, he's been taking a lot of risk, right? Like he, he, like you know, um, his notorious heart on his hair, uh, on on his head. You know, uh, when he when he dropped the album C O B. Um, certified lover boy. Um, that, that's dope. You know, like he, he's uh really branching out out there he's not like he's not trying to be this character you know like oh i just gotta have a clean fade or whatever like he's, he's doing what makes him happy what makes him feel good so and he still pulls it off bro like regardless of what he does to himself bro he's still gonna be pulling bitches bro like 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 let's not cap right and i'm not trying to be no fucking drake dick right or a lot of people you know, set that in, you know, on my Twitter and shit, like, bro, you be riding Drake's dick, I'm like, no, I really don't, it's just, bro, like, 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 when you're automatically a fan of someone, they'll automatically call you a dick rider, and it's like, all right, so be it, bro, call me whatever you want, you know, I, I can be like, oh, I love Kanye, and like, they're like, oh, bro, the dick riding's heavy, bro, it's like, no, it's not, I just fucking love the artist, you know, and it's the same with Drake, I just fucking love Drake, bro, like everything that he releases, you know, and and for people calling me dick rider, uh, I I'll say this right now: his merch for CLB was complete shit, and and you know this is coming from a fashion designer, bro. Like his merch for that album was dog shit, and for honestly, never mind, it was pretty dog shit as well. You know, it was really dog shit. So um, 
you know, um, I guess that kind of balances out, you know, I'm not a dick rider. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm not trying to prove anything to y'all. I'm really just, you know, saying how I really felt. Like when I saw his merch, when I even the promo, the promo, the build up to COB releasing, it was shit. What, what was it like fucking um, posters on like freeways and shit? Like it was complete shit. You know, there's so many other ways to promote an album, right? It's just, I don't know. It, it just, it, it seems like a cringe way to do shit, right? You know, um, but apart from that, man, the, 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 the main meat is in his music and his music is just, I mean, dude, it, it's just, it's, it's so good, bro. People hate it. And honestly, never mind, bro. It's literally one of my favorite projects from him. And I'm being completely honest, bro. It's just, it's such a vibe. And that's what people forget. People are always like, oh, bro, there's no bars in this. Bro, what is this goofy ass beat, bro? Why is he always singing? What, what, what is he doing with his voice? Bro, people love to nitpick every shit because, you know, they, they go in expecting some shit. And then w- w- when it's not what they expected, they just fucking bash on it. I'm like, bro. Try out, try out new shit, bro. These be the same people that fucking eat the same shit every day, right? Like, they be eating fucking chicken wings or whatever, bro. Like, they be eating the most, you know, dog shit stuff. And when you try to throw in something new, like a fucking vegetable in there, you know, they're like, oh, bro, what is this? I never tried this in my life, bro. This is disgusting, you know? It's like, bro, you got to try new shit out, bro. And if you don't like it, fucking so be it, bro. You, you can't expect everybody to be fucking the same way as you. Because if we're, dude, and then let's just say this right now, right? If we're all thinking the same way, we're fucking robots, bro. You know, if we all have the same opinion, we all have the same mindset about this fucking person, we're all just fucking robots, you know? And, and they're already programmed like rob- robots, right? Like, because when someone that stands out, you know, from the fucking herd of sheep that they are, they they, they point them out, and they're like, bro, what the fuck, you like this, what the hell is wrong with you, they'll fucking tell you what's wrong with you, and it's, it's crazy, because it's like, you know, like, oh, what, I can't have my fucking own taste, like, oh, I have to fucking agree with what you guys think, like, what the hell is this, you know, and again, it's Twitter, you know, Twitter is always like this, Twitter is fucking, you know, it, it, it's a battlefield. <laughs> it really is. It, that's what it is. It's a battlefield. Um, you know, you put your opinion out there and you, you have to fucking just accept whatever's fucking coming, you know, towards you. Um, but yeah, I mean, Drake getting the logo uh, or the logo braided in his hair, the Nike logo. That's pretty dope because he, he, isn't he signed with Nike? I mean, like, dude, he, he's showing support. And, bro, let's not cap. He probably got paid for doing that. So, people are being like, oh, bro, he's dick riding Nike. Bro, he probably got a back for doing that. But you think Drake just out the blue is going to do some shit, some shit like that? That it's, like, it's not worth it? Like, he did, like, he did, like, what? Like, he was there for, like, an hour, like, talking? Or, uh, I don't know how long he was there. But you think he did that for, like, one day? Like, I don't know, bro. Um, And he also got it braided. It's not like he fucking... He fucking cut, you know, the Nike logo in his, in his hair, bro. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty dope, you know. Uh, I love when artists, you know, do unique shit. Like, Bad Bunny is a perfect example of that. He just, like, he's unique in his own way. Like, you remember when he used to have, like, the triangle symbol on his head? It was so dope. And Kanye also did the same shit. You know, Kanye is very notorious for having crazy hair, you know, doing crazy styles in his hair. Um... So, yeah, I mean, that's dope, you know. Um, what else do we have? We have Nav, drop, Nav uh, the rapper Nav, dropping his album. I'm going to be completely uh, transparent right now. I did not listen to the album. Um, I have heard a lot of good stuff about it. The cover art for the fucking album is outstanding. Like, I think this is by far his best album, like, album cover art. Like, it just is so amazing. And it, it's really, like... Um, it's really one of the most standout cover arts I've seen in a long time, right? Because, I mean, y- you see these shit cover arts, and I- I- I'm going I'm to call them out. Jack Harlow, bro. Your album, you- you like, for your recent album, um, that cover art is completely shit. You're literally sitting on a chair with a mic right next to you. Like, what cover art is that? You know? 
Um, another one that pops in my head, um, Black, you know? Black it was like he has his baby on his stomach and he's like cooking. I'm like, what is that, bro? That, that's shit. Someone just took a photo of you. There's no like art in it. Uh, maybe there's a message. I'm sure there's a message, but it's like there's no artistry. It's just a black and white photo. Like, bro, it's not, like, what is that? You know, I, 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 like albums that I love the cover art is like KOD. KOD had the message, it was artistically, you know, beautiful. And it was dope, right? Um, oh, another shit album cover art. Um, uh, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. What was that? You know, that that's a shit. <laughs> that's a shit album cover. Um, damn, damn stands out to me because I don't know. It's just like like the way he looks in that album cover art is just it, it stood out a lot to me, right? Uh. And the colors, right? Like him wearing that white shirt with the red background. It was dope. But Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, that cover art, it was just, it was, I don't know, it was weird, man. I just, you know, I I, I feel like when, when you're at that level, dude, you literally have all the resources to literally make the best album cover art ever, bro. Like, like you have, you have people lined up, you know, like... That, that that can make your shit just look so good and what do they do they just ignore those people they ignore those resources and they do what they want and I, i'm not a, i'm not a fan of just taking a picture of you and using that as your cover art and fucking like touching it up just a little bit like what is that man i just i, I don't get it um but maybe it's just the artist in me maybe um a lot of people don't really see it as this dramatic this dramatic right like they're like oh it's whatever like it's just a cover art um but for me i, I mean i'm an artist dude i just i i, I don't I, I i could personally never do some shit like that like i just can't take a photo and just fucking throw on the parental advisory you know um symbol on there and just call it a fucking song cover like i i personally cannot do that like it, it just It'll hurt my soul if I pull some shit like that, right? But you know, you know, they they can do whatever they want, but you know, be damn well, like like know damn well that I'm gonna criticize it, right? Like I'm doing right now. Um, Cob was a shit album cover as well. Um, but we're talking about album covers right now. We're talking about I'm trying to talk talk about Nav's album. But let me know how you guys feel about Nav's album because I have not listened to it. So, um, I'm going to read the comments and see, um, how you guys feel about the album. So, you know, I can listen to it. Um, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan of Nov, but he has a lot of bangers and I'll, I'll give him that. Obviously myself is a banger. Um, the, the one with Travis Scott, it was like, um, uh, fit and take off in spaceship. Da, 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 da. Oh, champion. Yeah. That, that's the song champion. That's the one I was thinking. Um, not not has a lot of bangers. The one with um, what's his name? It wasn't Lil Dirk. It was um, some Lil. Uh, I think no, with Young Dolph. I think it was with Young Dolph. Um, rest in peace. That was dope. That was a dope one. Um, but yeah, no, he, he has a lot of he has a lot of um, bangers, and um, he gets a lot of hate. Uh, you know that's very clear to see. But um, no, he's dope. He's dope. Um, he's definitely, he's definitely up there. He's good. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much what I have to say about that topic. Um, the next topic we have for today, we have, um, Canelo saying he won't fight a Mexican fighter. Um, and before people are like, oh, bro, that's racist. Like, why wouldn't he fight a Mexican fighter? Let me, you know, explain it a little bit, right? His reason for not fight, like, like he doesn't want to fight a Mexican fighter is because he wants to represent Mexico and he doesn't see it. He doesn't see him fighting Mexican people a good image for him, right? Because it's like, how are you going to represent Mexico? But at the same time, you're, you're beating the shit out of Mexican fighters, right? At, at least that that's his logic, right? Um, and I kind of agree with that, right? I, I, I don't see it as dramatic as he says, it is right, but you know, 
I see where he's coming from, right? And I'm just going to put it that way. I see where he's coming from, and that's perfectly fine. It, it, you know, he doesn't really need to fight any Mexican fighters. Um, like, he's not trying to dodge anyone. Like, he didn't say that while, you know, there's like, you know, he, he didn't say that while there's like a Mexican fighter that's like popping right now, right? Like, he's really the only Mexican fighter that's popping right now. Um, apart from like Ryan Garcia, but like you know they're not in the same weight class and they're, ne they're never gonna fight each other. So, you know that that's out the question. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, he, he's not dodging anyone by saying that. He just says that, you know, um, and he, he'll probably change his mind if, if there is a Mexican fighter that like pops up and like is you know being talked about a lot. Maybe he'll change his mind and being like, all right, I gotta challenge myself. Let me fight him. Um, like, like, f fuck what I, what I said in this interview, let's fucking do this. You know, I'm sure he'll change his mind about it. So right now, there's no Mexican fighters that's really popping like that. Um, as far as mainstream, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, Canelo doesn't really have to worry about that, right? Um, especially with that take. So, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, Canelo is gonna do what he's doing. He's gonna fight, uh, Triple G, I believe, um, this weekend. Um... I'm very hyped for it. I'm very hyped for it. I want to see what he has in store. Um, because obviously from his previous fight, um, he, he I mean, he, he showed a lot, right? He showed a lot of that he's really good, but um, obviously his opponent was just much better. Um, for those that don't know, you know, Bivol. Uh, I forget his, I forget his last, uh, his first name. Um, but I know his last name, Bivol. Um, brutally beat the shit out of Canelo. Um, and a lot of people want to see a rematch, but, um, and people were like, but why didn't you do a rematch? Like, why is, why is Canelo going to fight Triple G? Um, you know, why is he dodging Bivol? It's not that he's dodging Bivol. It's that there's probably, they probably, um, the, the, the thing is, there probably was a rematch clause, right? Um, but, but he, but Canelo expected to win that match against Bivol. And he already had planned out that he was going to fight Triple G after. Like, like they've, they've announced this after. Or they've announced this prior from the fight with Bivol. So, uh, it was already planned out. They can't just reschedule shit, right? Because that's not how shit works, you know? They, they have to set up all the shit. They have to make contracts, agreements, you know? Um, training is, like, so and so long. So they can't just be like, all right, let's just fucking, you know, postpone the fight with Triple triple G and let's do a rematch with Bivol. Like, they can't just do some shit like that, right? So, you know, what they planned um, to do since, you know, um, it caught everyone by surprise since he lost, um, you know, um, he was gonna, he's going he's gonna to fight Triple G and then probably right after the fight with Triple G, Hopefully he wins, you know, <laughs> otherwise the bad look. Um, hopefully he wins. Um, he's going to fight Bilbo after. I think that I think that's what's planned. Um, obviously, take what I'm saying for a grain of salt. Um, this is just my assumption. But I, re I really believe that's how it's going to be because, you know, um, Canelo lost, you know. And I don't think Canelo likes losing. You know, he, he really doesn't lose much. He literally doesn't lose at all. So um this half this this has to have affected him. So um I'm sure he's gonna fight Bivol after. Bivol also has a fight, um, I believe this week, um, along with Canelo. So let's see how Bivol does, because his opponent is pretty he's pretty tough as well. So um if Bivol actually beats him, um this yeah, this is gonna that, that that's gonna say a lot about Bivol because Bivol is uh He's going to prove that he's a really tough fighter and you shouldn't, um, you know, not sleep on him, right? <laughs> but yeah, let's see how this um, fight between Canelo and Triple G goes. Um, I really don't quite understand why they're fighting because didn't Canelo beat him twice already? Canelo beat Triple G twice already, so I just don't understand why they're doing, doing this again. I, obviously, I understand the hype. Obviously, a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people, and I was surprised by this. Um, a lot of people think Triple G is going to win. And it's very surprising because he hasn't fought in a while, and he's basically retired. But, hey, man, if that's what people think, we'll see. We'll see 
Uh, when are they fighting? Saturday? We'll see on Saturday, you know? Um, obviously, I got Canelo winning. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely find out if he really is about it. Um, you know? Um, it, it's it's going to be dope seeing um, Canelo back in the ring, you know, because, you know, his last time in the ring, he, he lost, you know. So um, I want to see how that goes. And but honestly, what I'm more excited for is to see Canelo and Bill fight again. Like, just imagine that Canelo versus Bill too. Like, that's going to be insane because just imagine if Bill wins again, dude. What does this mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, what does this mean? You know? Like, is Bivol really better than Canelo? Like, that's going to be tough. That's going to be a hard pill to swallow because right now, Canelo is like the god, bro. Like, he's the, he's the, he's that guy. He's him. <laughs> like, you know, he's that guy. He's the fighter, bro. Like, he's the best right now. He's the best one out. So seeing that man go down twice, I mean, I think by by all fairness, Bivol is the best, right? Like Bivol has to be the best boxer. If Bivol managed to beat Canelo again, Bivol is the best boxer. I mean, you really can't disagree with that. Like I know Canelo has more matches. I know he has a lot of tougher fights. I get it. But when you see the main guy go down twice? I mean, motherfucker, dude. You're telling me that the guy who fucking beat the best boxer alive isn't the best? Hey, bro, come on. And, like, and that's even hard. It's hard for me to say that. Because I'm a huge fan of Canelo, bro. You know what I mean? Like, Canelo, for, to me, is like one of the best boxers of... Of all time. Right? But you have to put a line between, you know, that feeling you have for him and, you know, the reality, right? Because if Canelo goes on twice, bro, come on. He's not the best right now. He's probably, he'll be second, right? Um, I feel I'm talking too much about this. Um, but let's get on to the next topic. Um, we have Metro Booming saying he's putting his finishing touches on his new album. That's dope, you know, because if a lot of people don't know, um, if people don't know, um, you know, Metro Booming's mom passed away, um, not that quite, not, not that long ago. So to see Metro Booming recover from that, or, you know, at least trying to recover from that, um, it, it, it's really, it's really dope to see, right? Because he's still knows that he has a responsibility and he has to put out new music to his fans and um let's see how this album turns out to be because obviously there may be a lot of emotion into this you know prior from the events that has happened in his life so um it'll be very dope to see how this turns out and you know honestly i'm just excited for a new metro booming album because for those who don't know, dude, I am a big fan of, like, all the projects Metro Boomy has released. For me, they, they're, like, staples in my, you know, music catalog of music that I've listened to. And he does not have an album that flops. Um, obviously, his um, beats that he makes for artists are just amazing, right? They're, like, they just stand out. Metro Booming is literally a god producer bro like he really is up there with the greatest producers of all time um that's like no denying um but yeah it, it's just it, it, it's gonna be it, it's exciting you know um it's exciting to see where metro boom is gonna go with this album um because he does not have albums that sound the same right they're, they're, they're like obviously they're like more trap ba trap based um albums but it's it, it always has a different touch to it so let's just see how this goes uh, i'm very excited you know god bless him um we also have uh ray j saying there's a second sex tape with him and kim 
and expose his text with Kanye um, or Ye. Um, I mean, drop it. You know what I mean? Drop it. Um, let's see if he's um, if this is real. <laughs> I'm playing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I don't know why he's saying this. I don't know. It's because I don't know if he if he he's doing this because he wants clout and shit. I don't know why he's doing it, but um, I mean, hey, if there's a second sex tape, bro. Okay, do your thing, bro. <laughs> like, I mean, cause don't you still need permission? Like, or is there a contract that she already signed that he can release it? I don't know. Um. Um, but uh, people were saying that Ray J really Kanye to Kanye because he was exposing Kanye's text and um, he was like call, like calling him out and shit, uh, being like you know why are you writing for Kim or some shit I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean that's funny seeing Kanye get Kanye and him and Kanye getting mad. <laughs> And, you know, because now he knows how other people feel when he does shit like that, <laughs> you know. Um, But, yeah, I mean. I mean, that's pretty much that, right? Um, There's huger topics to talk about. Um, Another topic. Well, let's just say the one with Kanye. Since we're on the subject with Kanye already. You know, Kanye is settling his feud with Adidas. Um, for those who didn't see or heard the last podcast, you know, Kanye was on a rant on Instagram. Basically, he's calling out, calling out Adidas for, you know, um, not listening to his ideas, you know, and not putting him in, like, the business meetings, um, or, like, you know, meetings with the board of, you know, executives, you know, and obviously Kanye expressed his feelings on that on Instagram and basically called them out. Each by each one, you know, he called out each executive name, face, and all that shit, like their title, uh, which is wild. But at the same time, I do understand that because they're kind of taking his creative direction on where he wants to go with this collab or with this. I don't know what it is like with his brand initially. Right. Um, so, yeah, I really don't. I do understand that. Um I think Kanye did make a good move by doing that because, you know, he um, obviously got what he wanted, right? <laughs> you know, like, he's going up against a multi... I mean, I think they're a billion-dollar company, right? Um, or at least multi-million dollar company, right? Um, and he, Kanye won, <laughs> you know? So, um, yeah, Kanye has a lot of power in his hands, you know? Um, since he can literally face Adidas and be... And win against them. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, W Kanye. You know, Wayne. Wanye. <laughs> um, well, another topic. We also have um, Steve Jobs' daughter. Saying that the iPhone 14 is the same as the iPhone 13. Um, I mean, this we knew. It's just, it's so funny hearing that from the daughter of the man who created this. You know extraordinary product right like saying like oh it's the same shit um but at the same time a lot of people was like you know what does she know she knows she's not a fucking tech worker or whatever you know that title is you know um but yeah i mean but it's still hilarious you know steve Jobs' daughter just basically just dissing him (laughs) saying like oh it's the same shit um but yeah i mean I, i don't know is it the same? Like, I didn't really see much on it. Um, that clip of um, the iPhone 13 being introduced did go viral, and I did see that. Um, I, um, people don't know what I'm talking about. I, you know, I can't say the word, but it sounds like there was um, something being said in the music. Um I, I forgot what it actually said, but it sounded so much like the N word with the ER. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. Like, how, how did no one else hear that when they literally released that clip? Like, how did no one at Apple hear that? Because once they released it, everyone was like, um, uh, what did you say? <laughs> you know, they're like, huh? <laughs> But there's no way no one else heard it, bro. Like, are they fucking literally... Like, are they morons, bro? Like, come on. 
it's just crazy that no one else heard it. Or if they did, why the fuck wouldn't they put a stop to it, right? And they're like, oh, yeah, you just release it. It's fine. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Um, I mean, if you guys have the iPhone 14, fucking let me know how, how it is. I currently have the iPhone 12. Um, and I'm happy with it, you know. Um, I, I don't want to be one of those people that just fucking buys a new iPhone every year. Um, I'm happy with mine with what I have. It does overheat quite a bit um, at times, especially when I'm doing like editing and stuff. And it, yeah, I, I'll admit, you know, it, it is pretty annoying, but I'm not sure if all iPhones are like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, that pretty much covers it, right? Covers that topic. Um, so let, let's get into the, let, let, let's, oh, okay. so, um, I didn't, I didn't talk about the Emmys yet or D23. Okay. So, um, let's talk about, um, the Emmys, right? Since that's a recent, very recent, um, event that occurred. So the Emmys happened, um, uh, Monday night, I believe. Um, this was the 70, 70th, 4th. Um, Emmy Awards celebrating the best in television. It was presented on Monday in Los Angeles, um, where the PNB rock incident occurred. That's crazy. Um, so there was a lot of nominations. Um, a lot of nominations. Um, big ones, you know, big names going head to head to head to head, you name it. Um, but there's only one winner. So um let me just you know call say it right now. Um so for outstanding drama series, there was the nominees were Better Call Saul, Euphoria, Ozark, Severance, Squid Game, Stranger Things, Secession, and Yellow Jackets. The winner for this category with all these big names was Secession. That is, you know, that's wild, you know. I really expected maybe Euphoria to win or Better Call Saul or Squid Game or, you know, Stranger Things or Ozark, you know. But Secession, I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not trying to take away anything from it, but come on, right? Um, outstanding Comedy Series, we have Al- nominees. We have Al- Abbott Elementary, Barry, Kirby Enthusiasm, Hacks, The Marvelous, Miss... Maisel, Only Murders in the Building, Ted Lasso, will be doing the shadows. The winner for this category was Ted Lasso. And I, I'll be honest, I do agree with this. Ted Lasso was dope. Um, for Outstanding Limited Series, we have Dope Sick, The Dropout, um, Inventing Anna, Pam and Tommy, The White Lotus. The winner for this category was The White Lotus. Uh, for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series, we have Brian Cox, Secession. L- Lee Jong Jae, Squid Game. Bob Audenkirk, Better Call Saul. Adam Scott, Severance. And Jeremy Strong, Secession. The winner for the category was Lee Jong Yang, uh, or Jay, um, Squid Game. I apologize if I um, butchered her name. Um, outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series, we have. Jodie Comer, Killing Eve, Laura Linney, Ozark, Melanie Linz- Lizinski, Yellow Jackets, Sandra O, oh, Killing Eve, Reese Witherspoon, The Morning Show, and Sendeya Euphoria. The winner for this category was, of course, Sendeya Euphoria. Um, outstanding supporter actor in a drama series. We have Nicholas Braun, Secession, Billy Cordup, The Morning Show. Kernan Culkin, Secession, Park Ye So, Squid Game. Um, oh, we have more. Uh, Matthew McFadden, Secession, John Tutordo, Sever- Severance, Christopher Walken, Severance, Oh Young Su, Squid Game. The winner for this category was Matthew McFadden, Secession. Uh, for outstanding supporting actors in a drama series, we have Patricia Arquette, Severance, Julia Garner, Ozark, Jong Hae Yeon, Squid Game, Christina Ritchie, Yellow Jackets, Rhea Seahorn, Better Call Saul, J. Smith Cameron, Secession, Sarah Shook, S- Sarah Snook, Secession, Sydney Sweeney, Euphoria. The winner for this category was 
Julia Garner Ozark. Um, outstanding lead actor in a comedy series. We have Don- Donald Glover, Atlanta. Bill Hader, Barry. Nicholas Holt, The Great. Steve Martin, Only Murders in the Building. Martin Short, Only Murders in the Building. And Jason Sudikis, Ted Lasso. The winner for this category was Ted Lasso. For Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series, we have Rachel Bronchen, The Marvelous Miss Maisel. Quinta Brunson, Abbott Elementary. Kelly Kuko, The Flight Attendant. Ellie Fanning, The Great. Issa Rae, Insecure. And Gene Smart Hacks. Uh, and Gene Smart Hacks. Um, winner for this category was Gene Smart Hacks. For um, Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series, we have Anthony Cargett, Barry. Brett Goldstein, Ted Lasso. Tob Jimmo, Ted Lasso. Nick Mohammed, Ted Lasso. Tony Shalab, The Marvelous Miss Maisel. Tyler James Williams, Abbott Elementary. Henry Winkler, Barry. Bowen Yang, Saturday Night Live. Winner for this category was Brett Goldstein, Ted Lasso. Uh, for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series, we have Alex Bornstein, The Marvelous Miss Maisel. Hannah Einbinder, Hacks. Janelle James, Al- Abbott Elementary. Kat McKinnon, Saturday Night Live. Sarah Niles, Ted Lasso. Cheryl Lee Ralph, Abbott Elementary. Juno Temple, Ted Lasso. And Hannah Winningham, Ted Lasso. Uh, the, winning, the winner for this category was Cheryl Lee Ralph, Abbott Elementary. Um, for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Limited Series or TV Movie, we have Colin Firth, The Staircase. Andrew Garfield, Under the Banner or he- of Heaven. Oscar Isaac, Scenes from a Marriage. Michael Keating, Dope Sick. Himish, Himish Patel, Station Eleven. And Sebastian Stan, Pam and Tommy. The winner for this category was Michael Keating, Dope Sick. Um, for our Outstanding Lead Actress in Limited Series or TV Movie, we have Tony Colonet, The Staircase. Julia Gardner, Inventing Anna. Lily James, Pam and Tommy, Sarah Paulson, Impeachment, American Crime Story, Margaret Qualley, Maid, and Amanda Seyfried, The Dropout. The winner for this category was Amanda Seyfried, The Dropout. Um, for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Limited Series or TV Movie, we have Murray Bart- Bartlett, The White Lotus, Jake Lassie, Lassie The White Lotus, Will Poulter, Dope Sick, Seth Rogen, Pam and Ta- Tommy, Peter Sarsgaard, Dope Sick, Michael Solberg, Stolberg, Dope Sick, Steve Zayn, The White Lotus. The winner for this category was Murray Bartlett, The White Lotus. For Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Limited Series or TV Movie, we have Coney Brenton, The White Lotus, Jennifer Coolidge, The White Lotus, Alexandra D'Addario, The White Lotus, Caitlin Dever, Dope Sick. Natasha Rothell, The White Lotus. Sydney Sweeney, The White Lotus. And Mare Winningham, Dope Sick. The winner for this category was Jennifer Coolidge, The White Lotus. For Outstanding Reality Slash com- com- Competition Series, we have The Amazing Race, Top Chef, RuPaul's Drag Race, Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girls, The Voice, Nailed It. The winner for this category was Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girls. For Outstanding Variety Talk Series, we have Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Late Night with Seth Meyers. The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. Jimmy Kimmel Live. The winner for this category was Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. For Outstanding Variety Sketch Series, we have A Black Lady Sketch Show. Saturday Night Live. The winner for this category was, of course, Saturday Night Live. So those are all the nominees and winners. And I've, I and I apologize if I sounded kind of like a robot when I when I was reading all of it. Um, I really do want to go through it because I am aware I have more topics to talk about. So um, you know, I had to kind of speed speed run through all of it. So um, 
yeah, I mean, let me know how you guys feel about that. Uh, for the next topic, we have um, um, D23 announcements. So this is like the big, a big event where Disney does all its announcements. So I'm just gonna list all the announcements, the major ones that they, um, that they, um, you know, presented um, during that three day event. Um, so. So I'm just going to go through the, the, the big announcements, right? So Walt Disney Studios announced Hocus Pocus 2, Disenchanted, Peter Pan, and Wendy. So these are all films, right? Um, Haunted Mansion, uh, Mufasa, The Lion King, Snow White, The Little Mermaid, Pixar, uh, so this is Pixar's announcements. They have a movie coming up called Elemental. They also have another one called Win or Lose. They have one called Elio. Inside Out 2. Uh, Walt Disney Animation Studios announcements. We have Zootopia Plus. Um, a name that I can't pronounce. Um... Yao Yaju. It's a version of Legos Nigeria with first look of Disney animation. Okay. Um we have Strange World. We have Wish. Um Lucas Film announcements. We have Andor, Willow, Star Wars Star Wars The Bad Batch, Star Wars Tales of the Jedi. Uh Ios Ioska. Um, The Mandalorian Season 3, uh, Indiana Jones 5, Marvel Studio Announcements. We have Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Ironheart, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, Werewolf by Night, Secret Invasion, Armor Wars, Loki Season 2, Fantastic Four, Echo, Daredevil Born Again, Captain America, New World Order, uh, Thunderbolts, The Marvels, and um, for 20th Century Studios announcements, we have Avatar, The Way of Water, and that's it. Um, No, we also have Disney Plus announcements. We have The Muppets Mayhem, High School Musical, The Musical, The Series, (laughs) Uh, American Born Chinese. Percy Jackson and the Olympians. The Proud Family. The Proud Family. Louder and Prouder. Growing Up. Assorted Christmas. Assorted Chris, Christmas Specials. Announcements. The Santa Clauses. National Treasure. Edge of History. Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Choir. Madu. Big Shot. Duji Kamaleo MD Prom Pact. Um, these are Disney Junior announcements. Uh, Star Wars Young Jedi Adventures. Ad- Adventures. Uh, Disney Channel announcements. Under Wraps 2. Descendants 4. Uh, Raven's Home. And those are all the major announcements that occur- occurred in occur- occur- that occurred in um at D23. Um those are all big. I'm very excited for obviously the Marvel films and Disney Plus series. Um but a lot of huge Marvel uh, 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 a lot of huge um Disney movies. You know, the Little Mermaid live action. That's going to be dope. Snow White. Um Disenchanted. I, lo- I love the first Enchanted movie. That was dope. And we got Disenchanted. Um, it's been a while though, a lot of years since that first movie came out. Um, let's see if it fucking bangs like the first one. Um, but yeah, very excited. A lot of huge announcements. I'm very, I'm very excited for all of that. Um, so next topic, the main, the big ones. Um, which I do apologize because I kind of do have to speed run through all these. Um, but yeah, Harry Styles and Chris uh, Chris Pine uh, drama. 
Um, I'm just gonna say right now, I think Harry Styles did spit on Chris Pine. Um, it's just it, it looks so obvious. I mean, uh, uh, let's just break it down, right? Harry Styles made a facial expression, which was a spitting expression. When you spit, you, your your cheeks like suck in, your lips like pucker up, and then you spit, right? And that was the that exact expression that he did. And what happened when he did that? You know, he was looking down on Chris Pine's legs when he did that. What happened when he did that? Because a lot of people were saying, oh, you know, uh, Chris Pine was looking for his glasses or whatever. Motherfucker. He had his glasses. He put them down for a second. Then he put them back up. What, 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 what's the conversation there? He didn't fucking pick them up. and like, oh, I didn't see these. Hey, bro. <laughs> he had them in his hand. He put them down. Because the, 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 um, the controversy right now is like, oh, he, he, he looked down. He saw his glasses. And he was like shocked. Like, oh, th- here they are. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what kind of cover up is that? He literally had it in his hand at the beginning of the clip. He put him between his lap or between his legs. Then he picked him up again. And then he made the face. You know, and people were like, oh, he was surprised that he uh, found his glasses. He couldn't find them. Like, what? He had them right there. What are we talking about? What, what's that argument? <laughs> like, th- that's not a valid argument. So, like I was saying, he made that face, you know, then he did the spit motion, then he sat down. And then Chris Pine looked down on his lap in shock. Like, what the fuck did he just do to me? You know, like why Why did he just spit on, on my fucking legs, on my lap? You know, like he looked in disgust. Like, bro, I just, I, I, why is this an argument, right? He literally made the expression that he spat. And people are saying, oh, bro, Harry Styles wouldn't do that. You know, that's argument right now. Like, uh, even Simon Cowell said on, on a fucking late show, he was like, oh, bro. He would never do that. Harry Styles would never do that. Okay, so what is this video evidence? What, what is this, bro? This is literally video evidence of him doing it. You saying that he would never do that. He's the nicest guy ever. I get that. But there's literally video evidence of him doing it, bro. Like, th- that's, not how, that's not how shit works, right? You can't be like, oh, bro, he's the nicest guy. But we have literally video evidence of him doing that. Like, oh, bro, he would never do that. But we're literally showing you the evidence. Yeah, but he would never do that. Like, bro, I'm showing you the video of him doing what you said he would never do. You can't argue the same shit, right? Like, he did it. Um, th- there has been a lot of rumors that there, were, there was a lot of beef between them. Um, but, yeah, I mean, <laughs> spitting. I mean, the, the, the headlines right now are spitting rumors. It's not a rumor. He fucking did it. There's a clip. Of him doing it. Like what's the rumor? I don't get what the rumor is. He literally looked down. He did it. And Chris Pine looked in shock. He looked down on his lap. I mean bro. It, it, there's no coincidence here. And you can see him in other clips. When when they're together. They're like awkward as fuck. Right? Like when Harry Styles was talking in an interview. Chris Pine was next to him. And Chris Pine had like no facial expression. He was just like. He was just like. He did not want to be there. And when they took photos together, you can tell that they were, like, not happy between, uh, with each other. Like, there, there's something that happened between them, and they're forced to do this fucking event, you know. Um, but they're obviously, you know, and obviously they're the stars, so they have to be next to each other, right? They're the stars in this movie. But there's obviously some sh- um, beef between them. And they don't even, dude, the thing is, they, they don't even talk to each other. They don't even, like, look at each other. They don't do anything. They, they're just next to each other, just trying to, their best to ignore each other before one of them blows up or some shit, right? Like, Harry Styles, you can see him waving hi to everybody but Chris Pine. I'm mean, like, bro, what? So there's obviously something between them. Um, And, yeah, I mean, let me know how you guys feel about it. But, I mean, I mean, it's, it just seems so clear. Um, but yeah, I mean, if, if there's more evidence arguing against my statement, fucking bring it up. You know, let me know in the comments. You know, I just, I, I really, it's really hard for me to find an argument, um, that goes against mine, right? Because it's like, it's just, it's so clear. I mean, when we have video evidence of something, it, it, it's very hard to go against it, right? <sighs> Uh, cause whatever you say is just word, right? It's just, you know, 
it, it just mouth to mouth. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what's the saying, but it's just like it, it's good to have like visual evidence, right? Um, next topic we have PMB Rock passing away. Um, you know, rest in peace. He got shot dead in a L.A. Waffle House in a suspected robbery. Um, a lot of people were saying that, you know, they found his location because his girlfriend or, you know, whoever, you know, um, wh- whatever the relationship was between her and, and PNB Rock. Um, she had posted that they were at the Waffle House in L.A., you know, um, the, you know, because Instagram has this, you know, option where you can put your location and that's what she put Um most likely, right? Unintentionally. Really don't want to put the blame on her. Um, you know, because you know, obviously she just lost PNB Rock, her boyfriend. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, they found him, you know, they shot him dead, you know. Um But yeah, I mean it's devastating that you, you literally can't share what you are, especially you know, as an entertainer. You know, you really can't share where you're at because um, there's people out there trying to hunt you down and get, you know, get you dead. Um, it's very de- devastating the world we live in, right? Where this shit happens. And, you know, and th- this just adds on, you know, another rapper dead. I mean, it's just like it just ke- it keeps adding on and it, it's very devastating, right? And it, for the most part, it's always like, sh- you know being shot to death or overdosing it just it's crazy um that's why it, it, it's very good to be nice to people man and not associate or affiliate yourself with anything you know that that could get you in trouble because it's just you it, it, you really don't want to you know end up like that you know you you, you really just want to do the best you can in your life and just be happy and stuff and um do good for yourself for others right you really don't want to be doing bad shit like that. Um, but yeah, rest in peace, PNB Rock. Um, of course, since he passed away, his um, um, music stats uh, has been going up. You know, people have been constantly nonstop playing his music since his death. And it's dope, right? Because I, I hope that money goes to his family um, that are obviously in, you know, in suffering right now in mourning. In mourning. Um, So, you know, that's good. People are putting him on, playing him, you know, to remember him. That's nice. Um, Next topic, we have another passing, you know, Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, The reason why a lot of people, you know, uh, the reason why there's a lot of controversy between, you know, this is because, you know, a lot of people are mourning and a lot of people are celebrating. A lot of people are celebrating for because you know they were saying that she's a crook you know because there's obviously jewelry that they stole from like i believe in africa or some stuff you know and there's a lot of other stuff they were saying like you know they're bad people you know they're they're in power they do bad shit and there is quite a bit of evidence backing that up right that they, they they've they've done bad shit in the past and um yeah i mean you know, it's like, the thing is, is like, you know, um, she's definitely like a big name and people just see her as a big name as a public figure, but you don't know what they do behind the scenes. And that's why it's very hard to really touch on the subject because you really don't know much about her and what they do behind the scenes. Right. Cause you know, she's literally the queen, right? Like you, you can't just set a police over there to see what they're doing like or make an investigation like you can't just do that right so they can get easy to get away with a lot of shit so it's very i mean but at the same time you know you know she passed away so to celebrate right now it just i don't know it, it, it just seems bonkers but I, I don't think they care you know i don't think they care like oh my god they're celebrating right Cause um, I mean, to them, we're peasants, right? So it's like, oh, the peasants are, oh, the peasants are celebrating. Like that, that that's what they think. That, that's what they're saying right now. Like, oh, the peasants are celebrating. The queen died, you know. So th- they obviously don't give a fuck, right? <sighs> um, but yeah, I mean, 
is there really much to be said about that? You know, she died at eight ninety six. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not really much to be said. You know, um, the queen passed away. I'm sure you guys heard a lot of other, sh- a lot of shit about it. I don't want to add on to it. So I think it's safe to say just end off the podcast right now, right here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. Obviously, I got through a lot of topics. Told you guys there's so much topics to talk about. And um, yeah, um, I-, I love doing this. I love talking about topics. Let me know how you guys felt about this podcast in the comments um, or wherever you're watching this. You know, make sure to follow my socials, my Instagram, where's on wants in mind. Um, I just created a new Instagram page uh, specifically for fitness. So I'll be doing my best to record, you know, little fitness clips, fitness videos, you know, for, you know, motivation, motivation for you guys. Um, so yeah, so I created a new page. I, um, I, I shared it on my um, main page, Instagram. Uh, but you know, if you missed that, it's it, the Instagram page is uwm dot fitness, and you'll see my clips on there. And um, yeah, I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, bro, I'm really putting in the work. You see the weight on that bitches, bro. I, I be doing shit heavy, bro. I'm telling you. Um, but now, but now I'm showing you. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I'm very excited um, to be doing this. Follow my TikTok as well. TikTok is unwanted mind. We're at 20.1 thousand right now. We're just climbing, bro. We're climbing. Keep, keep, you know, follow that. Follow that, you know, give this podcast a five stars. You know, follow this podcast. Um, follow me on my YouTube, Unwanted Mind. You know, we're currently at around 630 subscribers. You know, we're trying to hit that thousand. Hopefully by the end of this year. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much sums up the podcast. So thank you all for listening. And um, stay tuned for episode 30 of, of the Want to Mind podcast next week. All right, guys. Love y'all. Stay safe. All right. Peace.